got Coach Bradley here with me. And to tell you the truth, I'm a little nervous because I hear he can be pretty tough, you know? Is that true? No, it's not true. <laughs> that's not true at no? all. No. Well, thanks for coming in today. It's really an honor to have you here. You know, I've also heard that you've won championships as the Las Cruces Bulldog coach. Is that true? <laughs> well, that's where I started coaching. And uh, my second year, uh, Rudy Communis was the head coach, of which uh, oh, Chris Hutchison is his grandson, which is a great thing to coach Rudy Communis' grandson because Rudy Communis was my coach in high school. And then when I came out of the Army, I got a job at Las Cruces High School. And the second year, their first year they were state runner-up, second year they were, they were a state champion. Your current team is undefeated and ranked number one in the state. What makes this group so special? Well, it's a, it's a program. Uh, our freshman team is undefeated. Our JV team is undefeated. Our JD, JV team was undefeated last year. Our freshman team lost one game last year to Alamogordo. In fact, our freshman team is 45-3 and three over the last five years. Coach Gene Priestley and, and Gary Moody. And, and those guys that, that have developed those young people as freshmen. And then they come into the JV program. And uh, basically our JV is the scout team for the varsity. Uh, and they go against that varsity every day. And then they get to have some fun on Saturday when they go get to play against somebody else. Coach, you have 2,500 students in front of you right now. Mm. What is the key to success? Well, um, focus, intensity, whatever you're doing. If you're an intense person, uh, you're going to focus on what your task is, whether it's taking a test in algebra or whether it's uh, being the uh, uh, carryout guy at uh, Albertsons or whether it's running a big time corporation, which some people, with some of these guys will eventually do, or being a lawyer in a big trial, or being a doctor in a fantastic operation. You know, the intensity is gonna create a focus. And when you got the focus, then you can do whatever you wanna do. What is the number one item that you ex expect from every athlete you coach? Well, it's called morale and discipline. Uh, what comes first? Well. Is the guy going to be happy in what he's doing if he doesn't have any self-discipline? No, he's not. He's going to have to have self-discipline, number one, and, and then that will lead to the morale. This weekend, if you win, the victory will be 306 wins, which will make you the all-time winningest coach in mm. New Mexico. Has this been a goal of yours? Well, you didn't ever know about it. When I st first started, I never knew I was going to be here. I can tell you that for sure. I can remember 100th victory, I can remember 200th victory. 306 is going to be great, about uh, six months from now it's going to look great. Ten years from now, God, it's going to be great, great, great. But right now it's not much. What we want for this team is 310. If we can uh, uh, say 14-0, 310, that means we've gone all the way. Coach. Is this the last year you'll be coaching our Trojans? Well, I've told these guys that a number of times. And, uh, you know, I'm getting up to the point where sometime, it, you know, I would never want to quit doing what I'm doing. But then there's other times that it's time probably to relinquish that thing and let somebody else take over. But then that same, you know, I got two sons that are coaching there right now and, and they know me closer and better than anybody. But then I read the Trojan Times the other day and. And that one guy, that Michael Bradley guy, he says, I don't know what he's going to do. I never know what he's going to do until he does it. So if he doesn't know, I don't know. And then Michael Jordan, he says he's going to quit. 98% sure I'm going to quit. And then he went and played two more years. But I think that this ought to be it. Because if we can achieve, and it's a we thing, if we can achieve what is, is there, hey, maybe if I had, we'd achieved it in 201 or 203 or 204, I might have done it then. But let's achieve it this year. And that's a message to 2,500 students and faculty in the community. Let's, you people help us do this. And that's, that's the only way we can do it. And probably 99.9% .9 sure. Well, Coach Bradley, I want to thank you for being here. And Mayfield, I have right here with me the best football coach ever, and he's a Trojan. And that's another minute with Becca or two. You do a good job. I'd <laughs> like to be interviewed by you. <laughs> you do a good job.